What I like about Grand Design is their inconsistency. Sometimes it's beautiful and sometimes it doesn't make sense. It's RV inspection day and today we are in Shoemakersville, Pennsylvania and we're about to inspect this Grand Design Solitude 390 RK. Now stick around, we don't know what we're going to find but we're going to update you at noon and the end of the day. All right, first glimpse. I've walked to this unit that was just dropped here. Now it's 920. Oh, but it was ready at eight o'clock this morning from what they told the customer yesterday. So now we're waiting for the salesperson or whoever's in charge of nothing. And that's what we just got off the phone with the customer. And that's what we just told her. Remember, this is how you're gonna be treated. So yesterday was promised that, oh yeah, eight o'clock this morning, it was all gonna be ready for your inspector. We show up at five of nine. I search everywhere, I can't find it. It's typical. No, I check this, it's not dewinterized. So absolutely nothing ready. This is how they treat you people. So I just wanna say, this unit, I haven't found really nothing much because everything is closed up. I can't even get in there. But I saw the axle being twisted when they parked it. So, oh, I'm gonna have to check on those. But on another note, since we can't amuse ourselves with this yet, people always ask us, don't you have nice one? Yeah, 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 don't worry. The nice one, we don't show them to you. We do. Those are the best one. Everything you see is what we find. We don't take the nice one and put them aside. For instance, we did one yesterday. That was a special thing yesterday. An acquaintance that we know that asked us to do some kind of warranty inspection. I said, all right, I'll go help you out. And this guy is, is smart. He knows a lot of stuff. And he's, like he said, listen, Pierre, I know my rig. You know how it is. I know exactly what I'm looking at. I know my brakes. I know my water. Everything is fine on the unit. I just need you as a certified to ride up this thing. And I said, all right, so we'll go check it out. So we went there yesterday afternoon, check on the roof. Oh, I got a hole here, a hole there. And he pointed out a couple of things that I confirmed with him that yes, over there, there's a separation. There will need to be sealing this. Okay, well, not bad, but he knows his rig, so I'm okay with that. There's 40,000 miles on his unit. He's had it for two years. I end up in the suspension just checking because, you know, I'm there. So might as well help him out. So here's the shackle. Here's the leaf suspension. Here's the shackle. Here's the hole of the pin. Here's my bolt. So the bolt should be about in the middle. Here's my bolt. So I know I either have a bushing issue or this bolt has been eaten up. And by the way, here's another thing. For some of you who have the CRE 3000 suspension more ride, if you look, and he checked because he says, okay, now I gotta order those pins. Well, those are bolts. CRE 3000 should come with pin, greasable pin. Those are just bolts. So already we have a lack of which have been supplied or even more will tell you, no, 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 they come with greasable pin. Well, they didn't. So that's a two year old unit. I'm just saying. So now he's gonna do this, gotta fix this. So you're on your own. Again, that's why we do what we do. And that's why I found this and it was kind of embarrassed to know that I can't believe I didn't see this. That's the point. You don't know what you don't know, but you don't know what you're looking for. So that's the difference between what we do and some other don't do. So to sum it up, we show you what we see every single time. We don't put the nice one and don't show it to you. That's my point about inspection. That's what we try to convey to you, make you understand. This is what they look like when they come up, just like this one. Everything was ready. The salesperson just left again because he bought the water, he bought the battery. We even have a battery pack. I don't even have batteries. So I'm gonna use this and trying to figure out with this how I'm gonna test it. But it's not your battery that will come with your unit. So I didn't test your battery. Those are all the little details that kind of is aggravating. Let's go to work and let's go see what this day is gonna bring us. All right, lunchtime recap. Well, a lot, but nothing major. See, it's lunchtime, so we didn't call yet, nobody. Well, we felt like it, but that was just to pull a prank, so she wouldn't have liked that. I've got sealant on the roof, here and there, a couple of places, looking at it as we can scroll through it, look what it looks like. Typical grand design, nice construction. Pretty much everything is sturdy, rugged. The welds on the back, the storage, I mean, that's what I check. I check every one of them to try to see. I know it's spot welded, so it's, it's not perfect, but they do that on purpose so it actually flexes. Because if you welded all around, for all of us who know, 
uh, it would actually crack right away. So you need to leave some flex. Spot welds are actually doing their job. They seem to be well made. So let's go on the other side. Before we go there, these lights up there, the five lights, your marker lights, every one of them have sealant missing. So it shows you whoever was doing this didn't give a rat's ass. It was probably his last day. You ended up with that rig. It's just a detail, it's nothing, but water will go in there, corrode everything, and there you go. One of these days you're gonna wake up, no marker lights. So now let's go in things a little bit more serious. So talking about serious, propane, leak test, A1, everything is perfect. So you know I talked to you about how you try to read who makes what and how. So I can tell you that there's three slide out on this side. Maybe the two of them, it's a crew that are used to work together. And just from the top of the seal, the way it is, seal on top where the, the TPO comes back in that trim, you'll see the ceiling on the other one. It's perfect, it's beautiful. These, it's like they were paid by the ton, so they didn't put much, just a little bit. So it shows you who's building this one and building this one is two different people. And that's the problem in our industry. There's no consistency. The dilemma I had in here is not big, but at the same time, it's not small. Meaning, I don't know, or now I'm looking at this leaking and thinking, okay, there we go again. Well, maybe we'll see something as, as we're here. So, yeah, I'll have to check into that, but there's definitely something leaking and it's not the upper valve, so. Looks like it's coming out from, might be coming out from the electric. Yep, probably. So I'll double check that. See, that's the advantage of letting it run for a while. Heat will build up. I went in the back of that, and so far I've got nothing. We'll see from the other side, but everything is neat, clean, dry. The problem I have here, I'm gonna to try to explain to you what I see. Maybe if you come here. So maybe we can say that maybe rain come down. This has been parked for about a year. And as you can see, there's dirt here. Water might puddle in there. I want you to look at the door, okay? I, I didn't do it again. Just look at the corner of the door. I'm, see how I can get water out of this? Big time. So this door is full of water. For whatever reason, it should be drained, but there's no drain plug. So what happened is the water stays in there, probably comes down here, and now in here, this is all soft. So if I check this, you can touch it, you can see it, hopefully. But this whole section, so water's been coming in here. And this floor, you're buying this brand new, and it's already all soft, done. Luckily, that's why we didn't call the customer, because that's fixable. You'll be able to rip off the linoleum, and whatever is to be done will be done. If it was inside, yeah, I would have done the call a long time ago. This is easier to fix, so it's not something that needs to go back to grand design. But let's go on the other side. Because I had this with this one, I figured, okay, I might as well go behind to, to go see because this one is accessible, it's easier. So I always check if there's water coming down, you know, from the pipes, on the floor, the water heater. So I try to find if there's leak, if something is dripping somewhere, which, you know what, you're here now and you might come back here and two weeks after you travel a little bit and you went from cold water and hot water and what's gonna happen, it's gonna start leaking. So don't be surprised if that happens. Other than that, we'll see what this afternoon's gonna bring. So let's go see what Laurel found inside if she did find something. So it's lunchtime and I'm gonna start showing you the things that I have found so far. And this is a beautiful unit, but when you come up here at eye level, you can see just how scratched this countertop is. There's a big scratch here, but there's little scratches all over. And unless you have the perfect lighting, it's really hard to see. Now, you know when you have your cupboards and you have your things inside, you have these little latches, right? So they hold your cupboards nice so they don't let anything fall out. Well, somebody was sleeping on the job or got really hungry because they forgot them on several throughout the RV. So we have two here and we also have two on this side. And I'm telling you, you're probably going to put some big heavy stuff in there and you go bouncing up down the road, these cupboards are going to open and we don't want that to happen. So, so I'm in the bathroom and I'm just going to show you that 
these doors have this latch right here, right? So this is what holds your door shut when you're traveling because it's really held tight. Both of the cupboards below the sink have nothing, okay? There's no latch at all. They just forgot to put it on. But anything you put in there, it's gonna come rolling out. There's nothing, absolutely nothing to keep those doors shut. So coming over here, I'm gonna show you that there is some staining on the floor right here. And it's quite sticky, so just something that they need to clean up. Not that it's a deal breaker by any means. And as you can see, this is a gorgeous unit five slides so when everything is in there's no stow and go the only stow and go is to head that way and you can go to the bathroom but you're not going to get to your refrigerator now we have friends nate and anitra who have this floor plan and they absolutely love it and it's fun for entertaining which they've had us over for dinner before which was fantastic so if you like to entertain it is absolutely beautiful but coming into the bathroom same thing now i haven't done my water you know i like to save that until after lunch but same thing in here we have the cupboards all the cupboards nothing has any of those latches and ladies tell me what do we put under the cupboards we don't want this stuff falling out right stick around because i'm gonna do my water after lunch let's just hope no leaks because our customers don't want leaks but even if there are it's not going to be a deal breaker they're going to fix it before they leave because they're not going to sign their documents until they know that everything is fixed on this unit before they leave that parking lot so we'll see you at the end of the day. All right, end of the day recap. To sum it up, I don't have much. What I like about Grand Design is their inconsistency. Sometimes it's beautiful and sometimes it doesn't make sense. Overall, this afternoon, I didn't find nothing that I would say bothers me too much, except the electrical panel. Whoever did the electrical that day, you can see he's trying to shove shit in there, trying to get out of it. You can see the broken wire in the holes. You can see the intent. There's no accountability. Who watched his job? He tucked it in, shoved it in, put the cover, done. Somebody's gonna see this at one point. Either a guy's gonna come up or fireman's gonna get in there. So that's why I opened this box. That's why I looked into there. And for some people who don't know this, you're gonna check your box. Remember, 15 amp, 20 amp, Romex, Romex, those wire, cable, sizes. So the little one, 14.2, can go to 15 amp. But if you have a 14.2 that goes to a 20 amp, nah, nah, that needs to be 12.2. I'm just saying. And I know a lot of people will say that this is technical, you don't know. And all the inspector that don't know this and don't check this, here's your question. You people who check for inspector, ask them if they know about this, just for shits and giggle. So you don't know where you're at with their knowledge that little bit of nugget I just gave you. Other than that, I didn't have nothing, everything else is kosher except for the rotten floor this morning. Everything was perfect. I'm kidding. So now let's go see what Laurel has inside. I'm singing in the rain. I'm singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. Oh, hi honey. Oh my, oh my God, you brought everybody. Well, guys, I'm glad you came in here because I was trying to use this microphone. No, it's not a microphone. It's a broken shower head. Yes, this can't screw on because this is broken. Funny, I found it laying on the floor of the shower. Now, I was able to turn the water on and I was able to test to see if we had any leaks. What do you think in the comments below? What do you think happened? Yes, it leaked. Put down my shower. I'll even put it on low because I got soap all over and I gotta rinse the soap down. So what about this side? But nothing that they can't fix, right? So a little silicone and they'll fix it right away. You were leaving when? I know, that's Pierre's line, but I just had to say it. Here's another thing. These are plastic toilet seats, right? It's not gonna take much for this to break. 
Can you see how lopsided it is? I don't care if you have a small, medium, large, or extra large butt. When you sit on that, you can easily break it. You want it to be properly aligned before you actually take off. So continuing with my water, I came into the kitchen. Now we found that the kitchen sink really didn't have a lot of pressure in it. So maybe there's some sediment or something that's in the screen. It's not our job to actually fix it, but it's possible that that's a situation. So remember, and do never forget. You must have all the destination. You must have all the journey. If you enjoy our videos, we would love it if you would hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and ring that notification bell. And don't forget, leave a comment. If you don't know what to comment, just put C4BO. It means comment for Blue Ox. And make sure to share it with your friends. I'm sure they'd like these videos too.